You know, a miracle is a wonderful thing. When you've had a miracle in your life, even though you can't explain it, you can't explain how it came to pass, how it was created, you know that you know. And you have that as a reserve in your faith for the rest of your life. I pray for miracles for you. In Hebrews 2, verse 4, the Bible says, God added his testimony by signs and wonders and various miracles and by the gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to God's will. Jesus' life was absolutely filled with miraculous happenings. Miracles of abundance and healing that proclaimed the truth of God and God's presence in the people's life. Well, I pray that you have that kind of a miracle happen in you. Not one, but many. And I would say that we've had big miracles in our life. We've had things that have saved us before when we weren't even aware that we were saved. And yet, we were, and we're here today because of it. Well, miracles are happening right now because of God's power and God's presence in your life. Miracles continue. You only have to look around you to see the glory of God's presence in your life and everywhere that you look. We're getting ready to go on our spiritual retreat cruise to New England and to Canada to see the leaves at the height of their glory. And truly, it is believing in the glory of God. For instance, if you look into a mirror, what do you see? Well, you see you. And you are one of God's miracles. And as God's beloved child, you're a miracle of light and life and love. And then you look around you. The miracle of God shines brightly in every face that you see. In every bit of nature with which you come in contact with. Miracles are happening. And I pray that miracles are happening in your life this day. Because God is the power and God is the presence in your life. And therefore, because of that, I know with certainty that this is true. And miracles are happening.